In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to restrict access to blocks using sure members in a way that matches what some of you might be familiar with as conditional display. I'm going to show you an example about how you can use conditional display to create um, a different view in a mini course funnel. Uh, mini course funnels are something that I've taught here on the channel and something I'm going to be sharing a lot more of in the future, particularly as SureDash is coming out soon. So I want to start by laying the groundwork on how these basic features in Sure Members work so that we can compound these tutorials together over the course of the next few months and I can create a library of tutorials that'll be helpful in guiding you towards creating the type of funnel that has been a big driver for the revenue in my own business. So let's jump in and take a look at utilizing conditional display or restrict this block feature inside of Sure Members uh, using the block editor um, for a mini course funnel. Okay, so I've put something very simple together. In a previous tutorial that I did, I showed how to create an email subscriber membership utilizing Sure Members. So in this particular example here, I've created a lesson in this mini course. I called it Lesson 1. And then I've created two little info boxes here for Lesson 2 and Lesson 3. In this very simple example, someone will have signed up for this free lesson. Let's say it's Lesson 1 that they get for free by signing up and joining my email list. I want them to get access to this, perhaps utilizing the same method that I actually showcased in this video, and I'll put a link up here in the top right of the video for you to click on to watch that one. But let's say that this is what they get access to, but they don't get access to lessons two and three until they, let's say, purchase something, uh, maybe through like a, a sure cart purchase. So if they are a subscriber and they have access to this page, I want them to see that lessons two and three are perhaps locked, but if they are a member of let's say this advanced membership or something, or they've unlocked the full version of the course, I want them to see these like normal. Let's open this up here, the container, it's just the video embed inside a container, and then my second container containing two info boxes with the icon aligned to the left with a video icon. Super simple. But let me show you how we can apply the conditional display, or let's call it block uh, restriction uh, to these blocks. So by default here, our lesson one video this container is only available to those who are logged in and who are members of our email subscription group that we created in that previous video. So for this block, I'll just go ahead and rename it here for organization. We'll just call this a video player and I'll click create or save. And then on this one down here, I'll call this our lessons locked. So we'll click rename and I'll call it lessons locked. Let's go to our video player container and on the right hand side under our block options here, we're going to go to advanced and we're going to find restrict this block. This is a feature that was added uh, to our block editor here through sure members. So right away you can see how simple this is. Show this block when user is in, right? And if I click into here, here's that email subscriber group we created in our previous video. If you haven't watched that, I highly recommend you check it out. Again, link above and in the description. Okay, so we can protect this uh, page, this entire page, uh, exactly how I showed in this previous video, right? So we don't have to worry about a version of well, what happens, what do they see if they're not a member of email subscriber? They won't even get to this page. But what we do want to restrict conditionally is two different versions of what they see depending on whether they've unlocked the full mini course or not. Maybe it was like a $49 upgrade. So the first video is free, then you got to upgrade to see the rest. So here's a version, let's call this as Lessons Locked. So we need to make this look a little bit different. First, before I do that, I'm just going to uh, duplicate this lesson block here so that we have a second one. And I'll rename the second one as Unlocked. So we have Lesson Locked, now we'll say Unlocked. Our Lessons Unlocked, we'll just leave alone for now. And our Lessons Locked is where we're going to apply the changes. So let's apply those visual changes really quickly here. I'll change this to like a lock icon. And I'll do the same for, thing for this one as well. I'll change the icon to a lock. So here's our locked version now. If I wanted to restrict all the rest of our lessons inside of this mini course, I could simply go to this entire container here that we've titled Lessons Locked. I can go to Advance and I could say, show this block when the user is not in. Well, now we need to create our second user group. Let's go into our access groups and sure members. Let's add a new access group. Let's call this one mini course. For the protected content, we would want to select the pages where the rest of our mini content is presented. I'll go ahead and add the content that's protected. So remember, lesson one was available if you were a member of the email subscriber group. For lessons two and three, we're going to want to add specific pages. So I'm going to come down here to specific pages and we're going to look for a page 
We're going to look for mini course, and I've already created these. So mini course lesson two and mini course lesson three are going to be added to our restricted pages so that they're protected inside of this mini course. I went ahead and I configured my unauthorized access similar to what I showed in my previous video where a message comes up that says you haven't unlocked this course yet. You can click a button to join the mini course. I went ahead and put a placeholder for my button URL because I'm going to create a product inside of Surecart so that they can purchase access to that mini course. Let's go ahead and come into Surecart. I'm going to give this product a name. We'll also call this mini course. I'll click create. I'm going to show you how quick it is to create a checkout page using Surecart and Sure members without a ton of customization. We're going to go ahead and set a price. Let's say that our price for this mini course was $49 and we'll click create price. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down until we get to integrations. We're going to click add new integration and we're going to choose Sure members. Now for selecting an access group, this is what they get access to when they purchase our mini course. So for us, it's going to be the mini course and we'll click add integration. Now for our checkout for this product, we're going to use the instant checkout page to keep things super simple. So I'm going to go to the instant checkout in the top right. I'm going to instantly publish a shareable page for this product. I'll go ahead and leave it in test mode for simplicity for us right now. Now this is just in test mode and I haven't configured anything for my demo store, but this would use the traditional checkout for sure cart that would have the Stripe checkout or the PayPal checkout any bumps in your order bumps that you've set out, and then the user would be able to purchase it. And if they weren't logged in, they would enter their name and their email address. But very simple, very, very linkable. So we'll come back to our product. We'll come down here, we'll copy this link, and we're going to go back into Sure Members now for our button URL. We'll go ahead and paste that in for them to purchase the product if they aren't a member yet of our mini course. And we will enable the login button down here so that if they are a member, they can also log in to access the rest of the course. And now let's go ahead and come back into our lessons page where we were configuring the access for our different blocks. So in our lessons locked, let's go ahead and return back to our block settings. Let's go to advanced. Let's go down to restrict this block. And we're going to show this block if they are not in our access group. Um, you can see there it's not visible. Let me go ahead and just give this a refresh. There we go, let's return to the block. Let's select our block here on the left. Let's go to advanced. And now it'll appear here if they are not in our mini course. So this block will appear if they're not in our mini course access group. The block below it, where they do have access, we're going to just repeat that process in reverse. We're going to make sure we select the block, go to advanced, restrict this block, and we're going to say show this block when the user is in the mini course group. We can create further visual changes. So for example, we could gray out the title here to make it look like they don't have access. We could gray out the lock. That actually looks pretty good. And I'm going to show you how to quickly apply this to the other one in just a second. So we'll change the title as well. We'll gray the title out and maybe the text as well uh, that has to do with what's in that particular lesson. So now we've stylized the first lesson or lesson two in this example. Let's click this paintbrush here for Spectra copy paste. We're going to copy the style, select the info box below it, click the paintbrush and click paste style. So now that looks like they don't have access and you can customize that to look like whatever you want. The most important thing here is that the block itself is only going to show if they don't have access. Now, in order to link these different lesson info boxes off to the pages for lessons two and three, you would simply select the info box here Go to general, scroll down to content, find the call to action section here. For type, you would change it to complete box is my recommendation. Uh, and then you would just put the link to the page that you've created for lesson two. Now, of course, we wouldn't do that on the locked lesson. We would only do that on the unlocked lessons. Now, a way to save time here, I'm going to show you two ways to save time. First, you don't need to link anything in lessons two and three because they don't have access. They just simply need to see they don't have access. We could add a button if we wanted to. This would be a great opportunity to put a button that says unlock the rest of the mini course. And then I would simply drag this buttons above the info boxes so that they could see that they can unlock the rest of the mini course by clicking that button. Put a margin down below that of maybe like 40. And then we'll find that link that we had for this particular button. Click the button, go to general content paste in our purchase button to purchase access to that course. Now let's go ahead and link lessons two and three to the correct pages. I'll select the info box for lesson two. We're gonna to go to call to action on our info box. We're going to click complete box. That's what I recommend. I'll go ahead and I'll put in the link for lesson two and I'll click down here onto lesson three. 
I'll change this to complete box and I'll paste in the link to lesson three. Now here's where the rest of the time saving comes in. We don't wanna go through all of these steps again on the pages for lesson two and three. So this is for lesson one. Now let me show you mini course lesson two is a completely blank page. So watch how easy this is. I'm just gonna open up my list view and copy all of these pieces and I'm going to right click and say copy. And now I'm just gonna come over into lesson two and I'll just hit control or command V to paste. And now what I've done is I've pasted literally everything from lesson one onto lesson two. So all I have to do is update this title here, which I actually have right here that I can conveniently copy. So now this is lesson two and I can swap out my video. And now look how cool this is. So they're on lesson two. I can swap lesson two out to lesson one, right? Whatever lesson one was called. And then I can just simply switch the link here from our lesson one page. Let me just go ahead and copy the name of this. So now this is lesson one and I have lesson three. And again, I would just swap out the name for the lesson into our box above. Now in this case, lesson one would be available to them. So I could come back up in here. I could paste in lesson one and I could change the styles on this one back to being uh, reset on all of the title and the description because they would have access to lesson one as a subscriber uh, to the email subscriber list. And again, I could link this under, under general call to action back to the mini lesson number one. So there you have it. That's how you create a very simple mini course funnel utilizing Sure members. We looped in Surecart to sell access because it was just super simple. I think that took maybe a minute or two to create the product, get the checkout page and have something that could instantly be shareable with our audience and our email subscriber list. This type of funnel is exactly what I've used in my business for years as the main driving force of revenue for my workshops or mini courses or free lessons that upgrade into courses or paid lessons. And as you saw here, I didn't need any sort of course platform, any sort of complicated setup. I literally just created a page in WordPress using Spectra, the block editor, to create a very simple little funnel that I protected in Sure members that I can then share with my email list. In upcoming videos, as SureDash becomes available and other tools become available in the SureCrafted ecosystem, I'll definitely be updating and adding to this tutorial, just as I've done with this particular video as an update in addition to the email subscriber membership that I showed in my previous video. If you have any other questions or want to learn more about how to do this type of stuff, there's links in the description where you can join Convology Plus. That's the membership where you can get additional cool goodies like this. I'll probably make this a template available for you just to save you some time if you'd like it. And of course, if you need additional help or have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below.